Uh, but anyway, with all due respect, let's go ahead and hook it up with the markets here. Put the PC shot on. As you can see, Helter Skelter Markets, I mean, take a look at that index chart. Does that look like any kind of certainty to you? Same thing with the S&P. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. All right, he's going to say something racist. Skip it. Skip it. He's going to say something racist. Jesus Christ. And we got criminally autistic with a super chat who said, Happy Baller Friday, Ghost, you're my favorite ham bone. I'm not a freaking ham bone, first of all. And we got real Papa Boom. with a, He hooked it up with a super chat. Thoughts on Nick Merckx uh, getting canceled for tweeting, leave kids alone from the LGBTQ, uh, call of uh, duty Activision, and removed his in-game character bundles. I hope Activision crash and burns and eats crickets. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I'm not a big fan of Nick Merckx. I think that uh, I th he was on borrowed time considering his name. You know what that means. You know, I'm surprised Twitch even allowed him to continue to have a account on their platform, considering his name is an indirect N-word reference. Uh, but aside from that, I do agree with uh, uh, his sentiment that uh, leave the kids alone, uh, LGBTQ. Uh, look, this is the safest country in the world for LGBTQ. You cannot have open displays of affection in most countries without having some kind of a problem. And I'm not just talking about socially, I'm talking about legally. All right, so I, I'm, I'm really disgusted whenever I hear, you know, the, that, that there's some level of hatred when one expresses their opinion about leaving the children alone. Uh, and it doesn't even matter LGBTQ, heterosexual, homosexual, lesbosexual, trisexual, leave the children alone. And, you know, one thing about adults... Um, we should be protecting childhood, and that should be the focus of every adult. Uh, anyway, oh, Pox, oh, excuse me, oh, Pox, uh, punish Foxo, excuse me. You've inspired my shrimp-only diet. Cheers to you. Well, you know, shrimp ain't that bad. It's got glycosamine, which hooks your, uh, you know, lubricants up for your joints and all that stuff. Anyway, getting back to the markets, as I was stating, helter-skelter markets right now, folks. The investors don't know what to do. And the fact that you've got people actually thinking that this is a possibility is unbelievable. <laughs> All right. And, uh, Jesus Christ. Unemployed <laughs> capitalist, damn it. Don't be so salty, ghost. I'll grill some T-bones for you tonight in your honor. I won't be able to donate too much tonight because I got to wrangle my seven tax children. Welfare checks are going to be fat once I get these little bastards signed up. You're a son of a bitch. You know that? You're a son of a bitch. Uh, you know, anybody, like I said who is a drain on the tax system, who is a completely useless human being. Uh, Americans need to have a conversation, especially taxpayers, on whether or not we should continue to sustain the sustainability of these types of individuals that contribute nothing. Buy that for you know what I'm dollar. saying? Contribute absolutely nothing. They make me sick. And hold on, we got to buy me a coffee buy here. That for a hold on, angry conservative. You have a choice to make today. Get behind Trump and go to war with the deep state and Jack Smith, oh, or cut to the Reno's Christ. with Christie. If you choose the latter, then get the fuck out of the way. This is war, and you better wake up. Oh, the, oh, this is war, for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ, you sound worse than the Black Lives Matter folk, angry conservative. You sound worse than Antifa. This is a war. This is the greatest country on the planet, and yet we've got these people that are American people that are so ungrateful that that just think that they're just entitled to not just uh, clothe, food, and housing, but they're entitled to some weird interpretation of what they think America is. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Get out of here, all right? I'm not down with the fringes of any side of the political spectrum here, all right? All right? Foreclosures are happening. Layoffs are happening. All indicators of a goddamn recession, for heaven's sake. I'd buy that for a dollar. Hey, is this Al Chappers? Thanks for all you've done for me, Ghost. Due to your sound financial advice, I'm finally in a good spot where I can stop being a blind entitlement mouch and move down. No, of no, no, you stupid piece of crap. Listen, we were having a good beginning of the show. We were having a good beginning of the show, and then you idiots had to do something like this. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Anyway, once again, Yellen saying that there's going to be more bank consolidations 
which is yet another indicator, as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to the recession that I believe we are already in. And uh, what's going on, uh, Red Eyes, Black Dragon, Ghost, did you hear about the actual gray alien contact with a family and the police out there in Nevada? Yes, I was actually going to discuss that if I had any more time uh, from Totally Useless News. That was very interesting, yet, you know, who the hell knows, all right? And hold on, Frank Castle 498 said, uh, RIP Ghost Show, 2008-2023. Look, there's a lot of things happening right now in the world. A lot of things happening right now in the world, and I just think that it's more important right now to be able to express ideas and be able to spark synapses in the brains of folks than it is to contribute to the degradation of mental capacities of people with the ghost show, all right? All right, so give me a break. Jesus Christ. We're going to have a ghost show. We'll have it before you know it, but there's a lot of things to talk about out here. There's a lot of things to talk about out here. Anyway, as I was stating, all right, since we were talking about the markets, let's go ahead and talk about the cryptocurrency markets, which, what if, oh, Jesus. Here, skip it. It's a racist. No! Jesus Christ, stop it. Just stop with the racist text-to-speech, please. Anyway, as I was stating, you know, let's go from the regular equities markets into the cryptocurrency markets. Since we're talking about Janet Yellen, put the PC shot on. Janet Yellen urges Congress to enact stricter regulations for the crypto industry amid SEC crackdown. And uh, Punish Foxo said, remember that Ray Paul guy? What the hell does that mean? He was a cool guy. What the hell does that mean, you idiot? And Propane Man, you can talk uh, about this crap on The Ghost Show. No, I can't, dude. No, no, I can't. All right. I mean, everybody on the ghost show is like Barry Blackberry, which are like throwbacks in evolution. All right. Uh, anyway, Nutcase Cracker said, interesting how the Nevada alien happened after the government released info on UFOs. Things that make you go, hmm. Yeah, I, I kind of alluded to this, that this is their last straw. If they ever say that aliens are now coming and visiting us, I think everybody should kind of take a step back and say, what the hell's happening here? You know? But anyway, as I was stating, put the PC shot on. And hey, Narnar, look at the chart, you stupid, no crypto, no one, son of a bitch. All right, the all-time highs was 67K for Bitcoin, which was in November of 2021. You <laughs> stupid idiot. Jesus Christ. Speaking of aliens, stupid I just recently tards. had an Alan encounter myself. Oh, uh, yeah? I was driving back from work, and all of a sudden, I saw white and heard a loud judo. No, 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 you idiot, no. Jesus Christ, man. We got McLovin2169 uh, two, uh, two with a super chat and said, Ghost, uh, you and the chat can agree. We know what America's problem really is. It's the funny n people and the damn dark pavement. I'm, I'm not saying that, dude. All right. I'm glad you love the show, McLovin, but that's horribly racist and we don't condone that here. All right. Uh, we got Bessie Elias who said, going through a bad breakup at the moment, so it's nice to have a Baller Friday stream to take my mind off things. Thanks, Ghost, and thanks for the unban. Hey, dude, there's plenty of fish in the sea. I know you're always saying that, but you know, if the chick really wanted to get back with you, she'd be back with you. The best thing for you to do in a breakup is to pretend like it was no big deal and you're going on and go on, go out with other chicks and pretend you're having the time of your life. That rips a chick's heart out, all right? That rips a chick's heart out. Like, oh, my God, I thought we all had the good times. and you go, oh. So, you know, just trust me, all right? Anyway, cheers to you there, Baselius, and I'm glad that you're chilling here with us. Uh, Skunkler hooking it up and saying, Happy Baller Friday! Hey, cheers to you, Skunkler. Happy Baller Friday. Good to, good to see you, man, all right? And we've got uh, RP with, you know, some kind of a blowing kiss emoji. Uh, I hope you're a female, I'm just saying. But cheers to you, RP. And Stinky Pinky said, uh, What is kick? Is kick winning? I'm lost. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you're talking about that other streaming service, which we do broadcast the ghost show from occasionally and we got ray paul's uh to uh, all right now, now i know what you were saying jesus christ anyway let's go ahead and talk about why 
I saw NFTs in November of 2021 becoming mainstream, and I knew that was the beginning of the end of crypto. Take a look at this. Put the PC shot on. Take a look at this. I dressed like a kid to go undercover in the crypto world and sold a dog photo as an NFT for $20,000. Give me a break. Wake up. Wake up. If you have money in crypto, take your monkey and run. Oh, kind of like how you Christ. took people's video dono money and ran with it and only offered them an invite to an echo chamber with a bunch yeah, of furries. Yeah, guess what? Uh, you're probably not one of them. You're just some stupid uh, half-witted tar jerk-off thinking that you could flap your fat Dorito-stained fingers on the keyboard and get a goddamn reaction. Just sit there and shut your stupid mouth. If you're that goddamn concerned, why don't you fucking join the fucking Thunderdome and try to fucking talk about it in that capacity and kick Narnar out of here. Don't come back to my show either, you piece of shit. Get him out. Get him the hell out. Piece of crap. We got bad emoji listening at work, so I don't say much, but thanks for another show, sir. Cheers to you. Serious shows for the win. Out with the trolls. In with the news. All right. Thank you very much there, bad emoji, man. I appreciate it. Unlike these stupid, half-witted, fucking wet-brained, fucking stupid, low-life pieces of troll terrorist trash out here. Give me a break. Anyway, once again, it's not just the SEC hooking it up with Coinbase. It's also states going after Coinbase. So I'm telling you all, if you all don't take your money and run, you may never see it. You may never see it. And what is this, uh, Stinky Pinky? Wow, dude, you're repeating yourself. All right, well then get out! Stinky Pinky, who the hell asked you? Aren't you the same idiot that fucking, like, fanned your nuts over Gucci's or something, for Christ's sake? I mean, you're the kind of guy that tries to smell somebody or some woman's crotch, and if it doesn't smell like some sick-ass salmon, you're just not interested. So just shut your stupid, stinking salmon smelling hole up. Jesus Christ. Can we uh, take the PC shot off? Anyway, as I was stating... If you... Hey, we got Dr. Midnight in the house! What's going on to Dr. Midnight? Happy Baller Friday, Ghost. Hope the trolls are calm down today. Uh, they're the a, li- a little bit. The from the last episode a little was bit. absolutely obnoxious. I hear I had to go to Menards today to get a replacement doorknob. It actually not hard to replace. Uh, look at that meme magic on Dr. Midnight! Oh no. Oh no. What the hell? <coughs> hey Ghost, it's me again. Oh no. I just want to say I'm happy you're doing so today. I didn't know you was going to do a so. And I just got my EBT fill, so now I can donate to you again to help oh, you. Jesus anyway, Christ, man. I, I don't really understand most of the stuff you're talking about right now, but I was hoping you can talk more about, um, like, Chris Quiskey and the twins community and how they wipe the kids and they do all this stuff with the kids, because I kind of wipe that stuff. Oh, Jesus Christ, no! <laughs> oh, sorry, it's a smoky here. Yeah. It's kind of like the... Over here in this New England <laughs> fight. No, God damn it! God damn it! Oh, God. And hey, what is it? Uh, hold on, Donald Trump. You're Tr- getting pissed because you know I'm right. Oh, I pulled you out of the closet and gave you a digital back slap like the $5 whore you are. Shut Why up. Why do people want to be in a club that hosted people like Al Chappers and Launchpad? Look, I didn't realize what they were up to, all right? I felt bad for Al Chappers because the kid is blind, all right? All right, I felt, look, I felt like Jerry Lewis for a little bit, all right? That's what I felt like, all right? I felt like... Look, it's Jerry Lewis here, and we've got a guy named Al Chappers, and he's blind, and we're going to make his wish come true to be a part of the Thunder I mean, that's what I felt like, for Christ's sake, man. I tried to tell everybody. Anyway, someone said, uh, uh, my truck hit 20K today. Uh, Can you sing happy birthday? I'm not going to sing happy birthday to your damn fucking stupid truck, for heaven's sake. Give me a break. That's what a truck is supposed to do. And we got Dr. Midnight with a super chat who said, uh, fake J money is absolutely obnoxious. You're goddamn right he is. All right. Anyway, let's get back to crypto before we move on to something else. Um, As I was stating, you know, SEC coming down hard on all these brokerages. Jesus Christ. Oh, we're sorry, eh? 
We're just a couple of hosers over here in Canada, eh? We didn't know, eh? Jesus Christ. We got Ghost of Majima. Thank you, Al Chappers. Very cool. Thank you, man. All right. <laughs> and speaking of which, what the hell? Ban Al Chappers, 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 Shut up! All right, we get it, for heaven's sake. Jesus Christ. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that, all right? I mean, that's obviously affecting America, and I think that Canada, you know, you, you owe us a little bit of money, all right, for this stuff, all right? You need to come out of pocket. All right, seriously, you need to take some of that money out of your socialist shithole collected dole, and you need to give it to the United States of America and say, sorry, eh, we didn't know, eh? Uh, Cooking and investing lover says smoke has made it hard to breathe in the Midwest, too. So you see, Canadians, it's spreading. What is it, stream troll Mike? What's good, ghost? How's the Spirit Airlines of Broadcasting doing on this fine day? Ah, Hope you can up, get to asshole. doing a TGS soon. If you don't, I'll officially be voting Democrat in 2024. Oh, Jesus Since Christ. Since every candidate you endorse ends up failing. Every candidate ends up failing? What are you talking about? I backed away from DeSantis because he wasn't the guy that he's marketing himself to be. You can't be the anti-pedo, anti-drag queen candidate when you've got pictures of yourself circulating, commiserating with pre-teenage girls while you were a teacher chaperone and contributing to the delinquency of a minor by having given them beer. So I'm sorry. All right, you could you could say whatever the hell you want. I'm not going to stand by somebody who does something wrong. Okay, like you Trump people do. You, tr- I mean, Trump could be raping a goddamn woman on tape, and you people would find an excuse that, well, you know, she should have had a longer dress. You know, you would, you all would have the most dumbest excuses, and yet we're going to talk about that later. We're going to talk about that later because look, what I'm talking about right now is that we need the this conservative schism that's happening. We need a leader in the Republican Party that's going to be able to capitalize on that. So you're going to be able to capitalize on that. And we don't at this point. we got a bunch of contradictory people, with the exception of Chris Christie right now, and I'm going to get to that in a minute, and put the PC shot on. we got Ard Hammond. Well, it seems that like we got three True Capitalist radios this week, no ghost show, quite a record. Also, Pat Robinson died. LOL, he died. What the hell's so wrong about Pat Robinson? He was a conservative man. Uh, all he wanted was some conservatism. Why the hell is everybody like, yeah, you died, Pat Robinson? I mean, so why is everybody in joyous glee that Pat Robinson, or Pat Robertson, excuse me, died? Why? I mean, this was a conservative man that just wanted conservative values. If you disagreed with him, that's one thing. You, I mean, you, you got gay marriage that's legal. You, you got your clubs that you can go to. You can go and show public affection <laughs> anywhere. What's, what's the problem? My township has this thing where you opt in to get news and emergency alerts. Just got an alert to return home. Keep windows locked. Make sure vents don't connect outside and to use their purifiers if you have them and wear N95 masks. Trudeau owes me dollar. You're damn right! Look at even Winston Fujimori is saying, Hey, Canada, you know, you, you owe me some money. I, I need some restitution here. I can't breathe! And I'm not saying that for any references to George Floyd. I'm just saying, you know, he can't breathe out there, all right? Anyway, Nutcase Cracker said, Pat Robinson called Haiti Earthquake blessing from God. Not very Christian of him. Well, I didn't hear him say that, but if he did say that, that was wrong. And uh, Woke Millennial with a $25 super chat and said, As a Canadian, I have to agree with you, Ghost. Our government under Trudeau has been crapping all over the world ever since he first got elected. I can't wait for the day Pierre uh, Polyver becomes prime minister. Well, somebody else needs to, you know, be prime minister over there. I mean, Fidel Castro's love child over there in Canada has ran amok too long. And I'm bamboozled why the Canadian people would continue to allow and honor this guy as prime minister. Unbelievable. And Jenna the Jungle says, uh, Vincent the Bay says hi too. We're dating now. All right, that's a troll. All right. That's a damn troll. There's no way. All right, that's a troll. I'm dating Vince in the Bay. Get the hell out of here. 
Anyway, as I was stating, social conservatism in the U.S. is at the highest it's been in a decade. And we need to capitalize that as Republicans. And look, I, I think I'm down with Chris Christie at this point. Remember, I've talked to... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! Not this again! Oh, God. Look, someone said, oh, you... That I'm, I, I was a, that I'm on fake Dre money. I'm not a fake, okay? Oh, I'm Jesus. the real Dre money, okay? And I just wanted to make a comment again. This is horrible. That, about the smoke. Because, yes, it's really bad over here. It's really toxic. It's really bad. I had a couple of my s*** is oh, all of a sudden because what? Because the smoke was bad that they couldn't they couldn't work. They couldn't do the cleaning. They couldn't. What the hell? Stuff. It's a bunch of fucking it. it it's a bunch of fucking bullshit. Oh, oh, come on, man. What the hell was that? Was that guy taking a dirty diarrhea shit or something, for Christ's sake? Oh, God, man. <laughs> and there, there's Gasgara. A tree, tree, tree. That's a blast from the past. No pun intended after J Money or fake J Money's, you know, splattered shit or whatever. Anyway, uh, thank you Gasgara. And we got Cooking and Investing Lover with a super chat. How are you going to purge the GOP of degenerates? Time is on our side. That's all, man. Time is the ultimate magician. Alright, it's unfortunate. And we had something by Al <laughs> Chappers. I have no idea. Dollar. And what is it, Menno Ray? Are you not worried about Christy flopping? A person like that can be easily bribed with a Big Mac. Oh, uh, yeah. Here we go with the fat jokes. That's great. You know what I mean? As a matter of fact, as I've stated, him being a barrel ass is actually political capital for him. And, you know, whoever his advisor is, I hope he knows this, as long as they continue to talk about Christie, even if he's fat, that's why he uses the big, small comparison when he launched his campaign at that town hall. He's utilizing the fact that, hey, he is a big guy, so he hopes late-night comedians will make fun of his weight. He'll hope people talk shit about him because of his weight because it keeps him on the top of mind. And when you're running a general presidential election, that's very important. Anyway, we got Jimmy Powell who's hooked it up and said, I really like that mocking goat sound you do. Meh, meh, meh. Anyway, that's why I'm, I'm, I think Christie is the best candidate for the GOP right now. I think if he can navigate through this primary, I think he can win. If he can navigate through this primary, I think he can win. And take a look at this. Put the PC shot on. From Mirror Hog to Pretenders, here's why Chris Christie wants to take down Trump in 2024. And hold on, we got Drunk Aussie with a uh, super, uh, uh, actually it's a fucking Thunderdome, 15 beers here. Uh, this slot is for Admiral, as promised. Maybe an AC, uh, what, an IC slot dono for Barry Blackbeard. No, dude, I am not going to accept that fucking tard into the uh, inner circle, dude. I am absolutely not going to accept that tard. I don't give a fuck how much money. I I do not like Barry Blackberry. He's fucking retarded, literally retarded, and I don't want to have anything. To, uh, dude, I don't want that type of lower, like, throwback and evolution mental retardation in my inner circle. Absolutely not. Play the rest of it. But I'll, uh, you know, let me know, who, you know, Admiral's fucking address, and I'll hook him up there, Drunk Aussie, all right? Those are the kind of things we need to do uh, to win again. Uh, and uh, anyway, we've got, uh, what, what is it? we got some super chats here. we got Punish Foxo saying, contributing to the BlackBerry co-host fund. Yeah, right. Ouija Slayer type spank in chat in order to spank Ghost. And we've got Sasori, ZZZ, uh, Blackberry for host. Jesus Christ. Anybody who... Th Dude, I know that this is kind of a funny troll and like, hey, hey, Barry Blackberry. Dude, Barry Blackberry is legitimately <laughs> retarded. Buy that for a dollar. Dude, he's, he's legitimately retarded, dude. Like, his tongue weighs like 10 pounds in his mouth. And every time he talks, hey, guys, I'm Barry Blackberry. I I mean, seriously, if you're backing up that kind of an individual, what the hell does that say about you, is all I got to say. Anyway, Mama Luigi says, it's impressive that Christy is somehow here. I could say the same thing about Michael Moore and Sally Struthers. Well, I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean, Mama Luigi, but come on, man. And look, what is Trump's response? 
And the shit he started has something to do with you not doing a show? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't, all right? Here's $5 to get Barry Blackberry into the inner circle. He is an eloquent young gentleman who will offer superb financial Jesus insight for Christ. everyone there. Yeah, yeah, it, a fellow tard, by the way. Anyway, uh, that sounds like a lazy excuse to me. Well, <laughs> nobody I asked you. All right, dollar. nobody asked you, you fucking idiot. All right, Alexander the Resurrection, you stupid piece of trash. You shouldn't have fucking child protective services fucking called on you, you fucking sick bastard, promoting some stupid picture like that on your profile picture. And I'm not joking! Put the PC shot on. We got Ghost Trans Pacific Waifu who said, Christy slash Paul 2024, Barry Black, Barry IC 2023. Absolutely not. Uh, Jimmy Powell, I really appreciate you doing the show today. Happy Baller Friday. Well, thank you, Jimmy Powell. I appreciate it, man. Cheers to you. And we got Sasori with a super chat. So the one with the autistic tendies calls him a... T what the hell does that mean? Jesus Christ. Anyway, let's continue to talk about Trump because he's definitely in the news today. And why is he in the news today? Well, it looks like the special counsel... Unbelievable. And we got Jimmy Powell with the masturbating hippo emoji. Uh, we got Ouija Slayer with the damn masturbating hippo emoji, for Christ's sake. Uh, we got Cooking and Investing Lover said, What if the classified documents is regarding why I ran was paid over a billion dollars in cash? Remember uh, how no one could figure that out? Well, I mean, I'm not saying it was justified, believe me, because I think we should have never have dealt with Iran. But believe it or not, that money was actually money that they had had in the financial institutions of America pre-revolution. Before the Ayatollah had taken over Iran, uh, there was money that the government had in the United States banking system that was never, you know, never accounted for. Uh, the Iranians had it froze. And this, at least in Obama's case, thought it was a good faith idea to give them the money that they were frozen after the revolution, give it back to them so long as they agreed to a nuclear deal. I don't think it was a good idea, but that was the justification behind it. You know what I'm saying? And then Baca Survivor with a damn masturbating hippo emoji, for Christ's sake. Good God. <laughs> anyway, well, what is it? Uh, what, what is this? Barry Black Bear. Are you retarded? The indictment is such horse crap. You have to be a DNC shill, and I'm coming from the inner circle. Look, I'll be honest with you, dude. Um, there's reasons why we have these types of laws preventing such documentation being released by anyone in the government. Remember, this is a government made for the people and by the people. And when your tenure is over, you do not have the right to just keep documents that you feel that you can keep. I mean, that would be like every president that was debriefed on very secretive information after their president comes out and just gives away the information for free. That would jeopardize national security. But try to tell that to you fucking people that are so obsessed with Trump. I mean, it just goes right over your dumb heads. Anyway, we got a Ouija Slayer with another masturbating hippo emoji. We got Ghosto Majima with a damn masturbating hippo emoji. We got Sasori who said, what is it, 17th of October, 2018, Kirk Polytechnic College. I don't know what the hell that means. And we got the Woodshed Enforcer with a game over hippo emoji. All right, man, cheers to you there, uh, Woodshed Enforcer. Good to hear. Good to see you, man. All right. I'd buy that for a dollar. And hold on. We got Mama Luigi hooking it up here. And Mama Luigi said the following. Put the PC shot on. Uh, should the hippo win meme of the year 2023, or is it too soon to say? Uh, it's starting to get there. I'll tell you that right now. I mean, this masturbating hippo emoji has been obsessed. It's become an obsession with these people, and I don't get it. I don't get it. Look at Baca Survivor with another goddamn masturbating hippo emoji, for heaven's sake. Jesus Christ, man. Obsession, man. Obsession. Anyway, uh, aside from that, let's get into some of the international relations uh, discussions here, all right? Now, we all know that this whole Ukraine-Russia situation is still going on. As we have all heard that uh, even though the United States is continuing the aid to Ukraine... Oh, Jesus. I'd buy that for a dollar. What the hell? Hey, chat. 
Next show we'll be having special fire sale. Two for no, one video there ain't plus no an goddamn, to the Thunder Tower. There ain't no goddamn also, every fire sale, today you will idiot. be match for Barry Blackberry by no, my hubby ghost for his no, invitation uh, into the inner circle. Shut oink, up. Shut up. Oink, I mean, well, what, what is this? Dude, Barry Blackberry is a legitimate tard, man. I'm just, I'm sorry, man. I, why is everybody, like, backing up this guy? He's, a, he's like one of these, like, autists that are going out and doxing everybody allegedly and shit. Why would you even care about this stupid two-bit loser, man? I mean, this guy, if I was Fuhrer, would be uh, used as fertilizer for crops, for heaven's sake, because he's an insignificant piece of trash. Anyway, we got Mama Lu- uh, excuse me, Mario, Luigi, and Yoshi, you know, with a, I don't know, some kind of a hippo emoji. I have no idea. I think my mom gave me sex eyes. What should I do, ghost? She has some nice tits. Yeah, yeah that's, that's something that he would say, you know. Hey, Mig, uh, YE24 with a masturbating hippo emoji. Jesus Christ. Anyway, um, aside from that, uh, for those that don't know, the counteroffensive by the Ukraine has started. Even Putin has acknowledged. I mean, remember, there's already an uprising in Belograd right now of Russians raising up <laughs> against Buy Vladimir Putin. If I had a dollar for every time someone called me a racist, I'd have enough money for a guy to rob me and a to pick up the coins he drops as he runs away. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look, uh, look, I'm trying to get to the show here, all right? Everybody cut the crap. It's a Baller Friday. I don't want you idiots ruining my Baller Friday. All right? I don't want you idiots ruining my Baller Friday. All right, look, let me just calm down here, all right? And Sansori says, so Al Groomers is allowed back was the BJ... Go oh, Jesus Christ. All right, I'm not letting you guys ruin my Baller Friday, dude. I'm not even fucking joking around, all right? Where's my pipe? Where's my pipe? Jesus Christ, I need to smoke some tobacco here. I finally found my pipe here. Please excuse me, folks. I'm sorry I'm taking time off from the show to smoke on some tobacco. But look, I mean, y'all are listening to these freaking people, man. Listen to these people. And Al Chapper said, enough of the chap. Enough of the chap, according to Al Chappers. Jesus Christ. Anyway, sorry, folks. I know some of you are like, come on, ghost. Come on, do you have to smoke tobacco right now? Yes. Yes, I do. I mean, look at these stupid morons in the chat. Anybody who's just simply observing the chat knows the type of malarkey that I am put through right now. Jesus Christ. And we got uh, Jimmy Powell who said, get your positive reinforcement button. I should. Where's my positive reinforcement button? Let me have it. Feed fear a suck it sandwich. Yeah, feed fear a suck it sandwich. How about that? Huh? All you fucking troll terrorists, cyber vermin assholes, suck it! Suck it! Well, maybe not. Some of you may want to. Never mind. Ghost Omajima, listen to Al Chapo, damn it. Whatever the hell that means, all right? And by the way, I am going to be in the Thunderdome tonight. Uh, once again, Drunk Aussie hooked it up with for somebody to the Thunderdome. I'm going to be in the Thunderdome tonight. Getting a little inebriated, you know, getting a little wacky in there. Anyway, let me go ahead and take a smoke and we're going to continue. Once again, Pre goes in saying that the Ukraine offensive has broken through Russian lines. But uh, here, let me take a little bit of a smoke here. And what? hold on, Ouija Slayer, Ghost needs, Ghost needs to tap his literal coping mechanism. It's a positive reinforcement button, man. I mean, look at how you people are treating me, for Christ's sake. And Cooking and Investing Lover says, Nonsense, we raise the IQ of this room by 20 points. <laughs> all right, here, let me have a smoke here, all right? You got to hold it in, let it hit the brain, you know what I mean? <laughs> hold it in, let it hit the brain. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. What is it, Barry Black? says to his doctor, each time I have sex with a white girl, my eyes hurt. Yes, you are probably allergic to pepper spray. Okay, great. Uh, Mama Luigi says, whip out the thorough gun. The thorough gun. Where is it? I got it right here. Here's a thorough gun right here. What the hell? Ben Al Chappers. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, man. Come on. Come on, for Christ's sake. 
Oh my god. All right, here's the thorough gun right here, all right? This is for Mama Luigi. All right, let's turn it on. Oh, let's turn it on here. Is it out of battery? No, it's, it's got like a little bit of battery left. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You put it in the back area, right in the, the lumbar region. You put it in the lumbar region. Ah, there you go. You put it in that lumbar region. All right. Oh, yeah, there you go. I'd buy that for a dollar. How groom I? I'm not the shut up, asshole, all right? Jesus Christ. Anyway, this is not a vibrator, man. This is a massage gun. All right, this is a massage gun, and it makes the muscles very soft and supple. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, Mama Luigi requested this. Mama Luigi's been around for a long time. And, uh, you know, I'm only doing what, what Mama Luigi requested, all right? So, give me a damn break. No, look, look, I'm not joking around. It makes the muscles soft and supple. And by the way, I'm enjoying my Baller Friday here, all right? All right, let me turn this off. These idiots over here, I'm telling you, you guys are perverts. All right, you guys are perverts. Anyway, oh, wrong one. Take this off. The Ukraine offensive, there it is. Once again, Pre goes in saying that the Ukrainians have busted through the Russians' lines of defense. This guy's actions alone has destroyed Mother Russia. Unbelievable. And Sessori said, we should trust you who is butt buddies with chappers? Dude, what the hell are you talking about, man? Listen, stop talking garbage to me. I'm getting sick and tired of this crap. Jesus Christ, man. I deserve more respect than this, for Christ's sake, man. It's a baller Friday, man. Shut up! Jesus Christ, I need some more smoke, man. All right, I'm not even kidding, man. All right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'd buy that for a Canadian dollar. barbecue. Come on, man. That's not funny. And Al Chapper said, you trolls should stop fucking talking about me. That's what Al Chappers just said. Anyway, once again, Putin is saying Ukraine counteroffensives has failed to reach its goals. What else can Pooty Poo say, right? And Ghost Omajima said, be nice to Al Chapstein. That's not funny, dude. All right, that's not funny. And Ouija Slayer says, respect is earned. You've earned none. What are you talking about, man? I'm out here on these shows giving you my blood, sweat, and tears, and you people don't care. Jesus Christ, respect is earned. You know, fuck yourself, dude, all right? And by the way, what did I tell you about that dam that was breached out there in Ukraine, flooding out everybody? I said that was Russian terrorism. All they have is terrorism. And I'm telling you right now, for all you Russia simps out there, if you think that this is a sign of a winner, then you're an idiot. What is this, Ghost WC jokes? I'm back, Bitchler. I'm disgusted how you accept pedos if they're pay pigs. Are you trans now or just a groomer? No, no, shut up, all right? Shut your goddamn mouth! I'm tired of you making those implications, you dumb, stupid, Woody Allen, butt-loving pedophile, all right? So shut up! And Den M2 said, Ghost, on my way home after a work week, uh, what do you think of uh, opening up an online business? I think it's a decent idea if you got a good product. Is it a good idea? If you got a good product and you can manufacture it, I think it's a great idea. Cheers to you and happy Baller Friday. The only thing I have to, you know, kind of give you heads up on is that with an online business, you have to online advertise. And you have to have that budget because people are not going to just magically find you because you put up a website. You've got to pay for that cost of customer, which you should read up on, because that's a very big component of online business. Uh, we've got uh, Sasori who said, pay enough to ghost equals groom defender. Dude, shut up. Listen to me. If you idiots continue to call me some kind of a fucking groomler or some kind of shit, I'm getting out of here. I'm not letting you fucking pieces of slanderous, libelous crap defame me on my show on a goddamn baller Friday. I can tell you that right goddamn now. I ain't letting you fucking do that. And then we got Kirk Johnson with the damn masturbating hippo emoji. That's just fucking great. Yeah, that's great for Christ's sake. Give me a smoke. 
I should drink beer right now. You know what I mean? I should, I should drink. I just. I should go to the bar right now. <laughs> I'd buy hey, Jatario! Awesome listening to another show this week. Cheers, You're man! You're on the roll. Don't forget to roundhouse kick these trolls. Take them to the woodshed. Also, cough, cough from Virginia. Spit on Canada for me. That's what I'm saying! That's what I'm saying, Jatario, man. Canada needs to come out the pocket to the United States for that, you know, disgusting, smoky fart that they're, you know, blowing out of their ass, and we have to fucking suffer the repercussions from it. Jesus Christ. And we'll say, Sassori again, then show integrity when you ban that pedo chap. What are you talking about? He's not in the Thunderdome. He's gone. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Listen. I don't know how many times I got to tell you people. This is the last damn time I'm going to tell you. Stop fucking with me. You understand? Stop fucking with me. And fuck you, Ouija Slayer, all right? You can take your super chat and shove it right up your goddamn clogged up troll terrorist shit funnel. Stupid asshole. Anyway, as I was stating, all right, soldier's phone call alleges that Russians were at the bottom of this sabotage, this terrorist act, of breaching this dam in Ukraine, which has left thousands, uh, you know, in complete and utter floods and killing animals. It's, 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 un, it's, it's a horrible situation. All right, take a look at the before and after satellite footage of the dam breach. Put the PC shot on. Take a look at this. Before, after. All right. This is a Russian act of terrorism and this is not something that a winning, especially superpower nation state would <laughs> resort to. I'll tell you that right now. Settler, the dollar. Oh, God damn it, Menno Ray! And you have the audacity to sit here and wanting a Thunderdome and you fucking make a text to speech like that? And we got Al Chappers who said, I'm not a pedo. And we got Oxen Roboburger said, open up a beer, Baller Friday Ghost. Good insights. Thank you, Oxen Roboburgers. I mean, I know you're one of the very few that actually listens to the substance of this stuff. Everybody else just, you know, puts about two or three or four fingers up their ass, gyrates it counterclockwise, and then laughs at whatever one of these troll terrorists and cyber vermin do to insult me and besmirch my show, and I'm tired of it. And Cooking and Investing Lover says, don't want chappers to show in chat either, please. Jesus Christ, what... What do you want, man? Jesus Christ, I'm showing you a before and after of this damn breach in Ukraine, and you people are worried about out chappers. I mean, good God. And what is it? We got Winston Fujimori ghost. Can you take me to the woodshed? I'll well oh Jesus. I'll wear a well-to-do schoolgirl outfit. I also want to watch Pippa. All right, that's that's great. Jesus Christ. My mod, by the way. My fucking mod, by the way. Look, my other mod, the woodshed enforcer, said that he'll take fucking Winston to the woodshed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What, what is it? What? You have lost your last bit of dignity. I'm reporting you for harboring pedos. I want a pizza check on your computers, Grimler. Ah, Jesus Christ. I mean, there ain't gonna be nothing on my goddamn computers but a bunch of garbage that I was forced to watch because of you people and the ghost show! Jesus Christ. And Sasori said, uh, can you ban him from chat or know you're a shekel goblin? First of all, I'm not a shekel goblin. And secondly, what the hell? I'm trying to do a show here! Jesus Christ. You see, look, Woodshed Enforcer says Al Chappers is banned, but YouTube's allowing him to bypass with Super Chat. So what the fuck do you want from me, you stupid morons, all right? Stop blaming me! Jesus Christ, man. I swear to God. You see these ungrateful people in chat, man? I tell you, I should make it members only. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about the jacket either. I should make this son of a bitch members only so I don't have to you know, watch the type of disgusting sentence fragment written pieces of fucking gargled crap on, on this fucking chat room. I'm tired of it, man. I'm tired of it. Look at this. Baca Survivor. If you don't ban Al Chappers, you're a shekel goblin. He's banned, you idiot! What the fuck do you want? He's banned! He's already banned! 
Jesus Christ. Hey, look at Ouija Slayer. Do, do it, pussy. Make it members only. Well, let me tell you something right now. Next show, baby. Next show, doing members only. And I'm not talking about the jacket, boy. Give me a smoke. Jesus Christ, I can't believe it. Here's the damn... I'd buy that for a dollar. All right, hold on just a second. We got Ghost Trans-Pacific Waifu. The Who warned of a cholera, I'm, I'm sure, outbreak after the Russians did that to the dam. Uh, you need to do a poll in chat about either inviting Barry Blackberry to the IC or inviting Melon Pan to the Thunder. Dude, first of all, none of those people are, are going to be in the IC I'd or any of that shit. All right? I don't know what you're talking about, Ghost Trans-Pacific Waifu. dumps waste into Ohio attacks U.S. indigenous groups and attempts to arrest them into Canada, and recently some Canadian Republican saw photos of NYC and said I thought America always looked like that and shrugged. Fuck that shit. Okay, what, what's your point, Froppy? Huh? What the hell is your point? All right, let me tell you something right now. Look, I, I have nothing... Look, I got a lot of Canadian fans, believe me, all right? But the state of Canada is cuckold connoisseur land, all right? I mean, are you, I'm just, I'm sorry. I mean, these folks were a bunch of socialists. They're a bunch of, just, this is what happened to Europe. And the same thing what happened to Europe happened to Canada. A bunch of bourgeois socialists. Hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm, you hoser? I'm a Canadian hoser. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on. I just got disconnected for Christ's sake. What the hell? Am I am I back on testes testes one two? Am I back on testes testes one two three? Am I back on here? All right, back. Jesus Christ. Anyway, while those Canadians were out there drinking and be like, "Hey, hoser, you know, we're sitting here, we're we're, we're socialist hoser," and, and all that shit, they allowed everybody and their brother in an open border like capacity to come into Canada. And before these stupid, drunken French-Canadian idiots realized it, they are now a minority in the country, and now the whole country looks like, I don't know, you stepped off of a train in Nepal or some shit. All right, so, I mean, with all due respect, all right, Canada, before you start talking any garbage to America or about anybody else, all right, why don't you go and look in the damn mirror? How about that? How about looking in the damn mirror before you start talking garbage to America? I got a Canadian in the damn fucking inner circle over there that is, for some reason, some hardcore, hardcore MAGA Trump supporter, and yet this moron can't even fucking conduct himself in his own country. My point is that Canada and their politicians are shit and I'm tired of people pretending as if it's this great country of hope and respect when they literally export their waste to the U.S. By the way, can I join back in the dome? I miss you. You left! You know what, Froppy? And look, I, I'm going to say your story because it's a Thunderdome. Froppy was in the Thunderdome like about a year and a half ago, right? And, you know, sometimes when all of us are on there, aside from all the tomfoolery and all the trolliness that happens in there, occasionally you'll have some, you know, serious conversations because that's what I am. I'm a serious man. And I literally was convincing Froppy from de-homosexualizing himself and he was actually contemplating it and because he was contemplating it he left the Thunderdome and never came back I'm not joking ask anybody who was in the Thunderdome alright I was doing a de-homosexualization of, uh, of, of Froppy and he was actually uh, starting to convert to like, hey, well, you know, I, you know, I, I could probably go girls again and shit. And then all of a sudden, this guy got scared and was like, wait a minute, no, I can't. I have, I have gay friends and I go to the gay clubs and they know me as, as the frog boy and whatever the fuck else. And he left the Thunderdome and never came back. All right. So nobody kicked you out, Froppy. As a matter of fact, we thought you were actually, uh, you know, trying to convert to a straight man again, and we were, we were having respect for you, you know. I mean, we were kind of saying, hey, Froppy, how you doing? I mean, your balls were beginning to drop. Instead of sounding like this, hi, this is Froppy, you started sounding like this. Hey, what's up, Ghost? How you doing, man? It's Froppy here. And then all of a sudden, you just left. You know what I'm saying? You just left. Jesus Christ. 
All right, excuse me, folks. Let me take a smoke here. We're going to get back to what I was talking about. I'm sorry we took this turn for the troll here. But, you know, this is the Internet, so right? Give me a smoke. All right. All right, let's continue here. Like I said, before and after... Before and after this damn collapse, like I said, Russian terrorism, Russian terrorism, all right? But, of course, the Russians are going to deflect, and they're going to say it's, it was the Ukrainians. But uh, Come on, man. Give me a fucking break. And Nutcase Crackers said, uh, homophobic ghost confirmed. No, I'm not. Listen, I am completely okay with anybody wanting to be whoever they want to be. All right, but... Talking to Froppy, you could tell that instead of him being a natural femme, you know, you've seen natural femmes before. You know, like, have you seen the little kid from uh, uh, Who's the Boss? Jonathan was the kid's name. Remember Alyssa Milano, Who's the Boss, like a Tony Danza? Remember that little kid, Jonathan? You knew back then in 1984 that that kid was going to be a homosexual. You could just see it. You could just see it in that kid. They're like, it's a little fruity kid. He's going to be a homosexual. And that's exactly what happened to him. He, he turned trans, and I think he's got AIDS or something. All right? I didn't think that that's the way Froppy was. I think he was like, it was a put-on. You know, it was like a put-on femininity that he was putting on. And then I decided to just, like, in further inquire, and that's when, you know, he started getting candid with me. Now, I don't want to say the, you know, stuff that he told me, but that's when I realized that I told him, man, Froppy, you're not, you don't have to be, I mean, look, if you like homosexuality, if that's what you want, that's fine. I mean, you know, you... If you like your prostate massage, I'd buy that for <laughs> Jesus a Christ. We are cooking a dead moose, eh? A bar- a Canadian barbecue, by the way. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Uh, anyway, as I was stating, look, if you like this, that's fine. Oh, Jesus. I'd buy that for a dollar. Ghost tried to dehomosexualize Froppy. In other words, Ghost wore a wig and lipstick and tried to seduce him. Uh, the fuck you, asshole. All right. I was just saying that, look. I don't think that you're a genuine homosexual. And I and I said, have you ever had sex with a woman? He said, no. And I said, well, do you, have you ever, you know, has anybody ever tried it as a woman? No. And I said, don't you think that, you know, the whole reason why you think that you're homosexual is because your first sexual experience was with somebody of the same sex? And he said, well, I never thought of it that way. And there you go. You start recognizing that many of these folks that are, you know, on the homosexual side are doing it out of necessity. Like, you know, look, I mean, you can only go so many years with pent-up jism, you know, before, you know, I mean, you have to have a third party, you know, eject that in some kind of mean. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jay Money. This is not Jay Money, man. Is it gonna play? Uh, is this? Is it gonna play at all or no? You're stupid. What? 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 Oh no! Take it off! Take it off! Get off, man! Get off! Get off! Jesus Christ! What the hell, man? All right, dude. This is going. This, yeah. That, I think that pushed it over the limit, dude. And we got Jimmy Powell with a damn masturbating hippo emoji. All right, dude. That's about it. I, I think I'm done with this show, man. It's a baller Friday. You know, I. I'm trying to convey some serious subject matters out here. We're in a serious time in our world history, and no one seems to give two rats asses about it. And here you guys are doing that. You're doing all this. I, I'm just, I'm tired, man. And hey, wait a minute. Winston Fujimori hooked it up with a super chat and said, can you be a femboy and be a capitalist? Or, <laughs> all right, everybody just shut up already. All right, everybody just shut up. Jesus Christ. Anyway, many Russian elites don't believe Putin can win the war, and they just want to get out without any humiliation, and I don't think anybody is listening to this. So None of you people care about this. Until the war comes here, you people don't care. You people don't care! <laughs> Do you? I'd buy that for a dollar. Jesus I'd Christ. And look, look, Froppy, dollar. 
I am bisexual ghost. I never claim to be fully gay. What? The ghost did look damn hot in that wig though. Oh, also Jesus I was the Christ. one who pushed Chappers into admitting to having kids on his server. Let me back in, and have the wig on when I get there. Fuck you, Froppy, alright? You're taking this as a big joke, but I took it as a very serious conversation, alright? I took it as a very serious conversation because I thought, and everybody that was listening and witnessing it in the Thunderdome was witnessing a de-homosexualization. And I thought that uh, we were being successful there. And I thought that maybe, just maybe, you could become that straight man and you're just young enough to be able to find a young woman so that you can have, uh, you know, get married, have children and all that good stuff, all right? But no, you ran away and, you know, who the hell knows what you're doing now. But anyway, let me get to this other, uh, buy me a coffee, put the PC shot on. Uh, someone said, can you sing me happy birthday to my Ninja Air Fryer? Uh, it turned one since the day I manufactured, and it makes a great Swiss cheese, mushroom, and onion burgers. Hot stuff. That's fucking lazy piece of shit fucking appliance. All right, I'll be honest with you. I've got an air fryer. Everybody said, Ghost, get an air fryer. It makes great wings. The, the fucking chicken wings out of the fucking air fryer taste like plastic. All right? They taste like shit. All right, the fucking air fryer. The only thing I, I cook in the air fryer that, you know, maybe takes a little bit of grease out of it is the fucking fries. But air fryers taste like garbage. I, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's my opinion. I'm sorry, all right? And don't tell me I don't know how to cook. I know how to cook, boy. Do you understand? I know how to fucking cook. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, baby. I, I know how to cook things. Jesus Christ, people telling me I don't know how to cook. I know how to cook a fucking grilled cheese sandwich, I'll tell you that. How do you like that? I'd buy that for a dollar. What is it, Froppy? You would regularly call me slurs, and all that did to me was make me into a bisexual emo who does nothing but listen to a day to remember. Maybe if you put that wig back on I might go straight, but you have to have that purple glitter lipstick on. Now, dude, just shut your fucking mouth, all right? Just shut your mouth, all right? Look, uh, now Froppy, he's trying to project now because he knows I almost converted him back to to being straight. You know, he was he's he was out there doing all the homosexuality, the flailing all over the place, whatever he was doing, he was this close to becoming straight, and he's like, I can't do it. I, I've got so much committed here. I mean, I go to the clubs. They know me as, you know, Mr. Drag Boy on Wednesday nights, at, you know, at, at the Ooh La La Bar. And, you know, that shit. Anyway, can I look just shut up, all right? All right, put the PC shut Oh, yeah, before I put the PC shut on, let me prerequisite with this. Okay, now, Pre goes in. What did I say on the past several shows? But this is an actual possibility, all right? Buy that for a dollar. What is this cross dressing TCR Remember when Underdog leaked IC and Thunderdome chat logs on Kiwi Farms because he got ass mad that he was a tard. KF didn't care BTW. I thought that was catty. Ghost, you blabber like a high school girl. Maybe you should wear the dress at the woodshed. Okay, great. Thank you very much for Christ's sake. We got Magellan's Reach with the masturbating hippo emoji. And uh, someone who hooked it up with a uh, buy me a coffee, you said, why won't you sing happy birthday to my appliances? Because you probably put your private parts in it. Because if you care that much about your appliance's birthday, I can only imagine what else you find it important for. But anyway, as I was stating, I think everyone should really be concerned about potentially this scenario happening. Because if from a Russia's perspective... And aside from uh, him being, uh, you know, in the open border, or excuse me, uh, Russia nuclear, excuse me, fucking setting off a nuclear weapon in their border region, Jesus Christ. You guys are making me flustered because of the shit you're saying in the chat room. And, like, I'm looking at the shit in the chat room and trying to do what I got to do on the show. And, dude, like, in, in my head, I, I'm just like, I want to fucking kick that guy's head. Like, like my head is like, you fucking idiot, Ouija Slayer. You fucking idiot, piece of shit, fucking, you know, fucking Ghost Bring Back TGS. You fucking piece of shit, fucking Barry Blackberry. And all of a sudden, like, I got, like, some kind of a synapse fucking block going on. Jesus Christ. Anyway, as... Prigozhin is claiming that Russians will nuke the Belograd region. 
because he and the new Republic of Russia are down there. Do some, I'd buy do some for a dollar. Abu Ghraib shit. Those are you a Josie Sal and not a petty chut anyway? J J J J J J J J J J Anyway, the point the point I'm trying to make is if they had a tranny battalion interrogating that the our enemies would be so scared of us that they would not would never want to be captured. Well, anyway, this guy that was captured by Wagner, this this lieutenant colonel was released and claimed that he and his boy or any I shouldn't say that and his soldiers were raped and tortured by Wagner. They they buck broken. He got buck broken. Использовали как разнорабочих, просто как рабов. Были случаи, когда мои бойцы... Hold on, hold on, hold on just a second. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, enough! That sounds like this guy Wagner's torture session, for heaven's sake. <laughs> All right. Anyway, the, once again, uh, the reason I think that this is coming out, that, uh, you know, Russian colonel claims Wagner tortured and raped his soldiers, is for propaganda for Putin. Because Putin wants to paint Wagner as a bunch of, you know, savages and, you know, whatever. But re- lest we forget, they're mercenaries. And mercenaries don't uh, fall under the Geneva Convention, believe it or not. So they are not necessarily obliged to, you know, abide by the Geneva Convention. <laughs> I'd buy that so, for a dollar. Oh, Jesus. Putin. No! Putin. No! Putin. No! 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 Goddamn piece of shit. Come on, donation alerts, man. I can't push the shit forward. How come I couldn't push the shit forward? Make shit that works. Fucking shit. I'm fucking tired. You know, I'm out of here. I'm I'm fucking out of here. I have a whole whole bunch of other shit that I want to talk about. But I'm telling you right now, man, I'm... I'm done with this fucking show, man. I'm oh, I'm just a guy trying to do a show. And what do I have? I have nothing but a bunch of two-bit fucking troll terrorist cyber vermin, four-flushing, uh, four-eyed, feck- freckle-faced, beaten stepchildren of a fucking multiracial family piece of trash out here talking a bunch of racist garbage. And I really don't appreciate it whatsoever, man. All right? I deserve more respect in this. All right? I, I, I'm serious. I deserve more re- fucking respect in this crap. I don't. I don't need this kind of stuff. It's a Baller Friday for Christ's sake! Don't you understand that? It's a damn Baller Friday, man. Oh God. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh my God. I don't know what else to say, man. I don't know what else to say, for Christ's sake, man. I, I, I'm, I'm angry. And, you know, all, all I'm trying to do is just give my, you know, 411 about what's going on in the, in the world today. And this is, this is all I got. I don't sound defeated, dude. Shut up, Dakoff! I don't sound defeated! I'm pissed! I'm pissed! for a dollar. This isn't an airport. No need to announce oh, your departure. Shut up, Meno Ray, you fucking piece of crap. Shut your stupid fucking mouth. You're lucky you're not in front of me, boy. And we got Vinegar who said, uh, can you talk about the Pakistani situation? I would. I would. No, no, skip it. Skip it, no. Just stop, man. All you fucking trolls, just stop, man. Jesus Christ, and Cooking and Investing Lover says, if you want to talk more, please do so. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Hey, we got Punished Fox uh, with a damn masturbating fucking hippo emoji like I give a crap. Same thing with Bacchus Survivor with a damn masturbating hippo emoji like I give a crap. 
Oh God, dude. I'm I, I don't even know what to say, man. Yeah, I'm trying. Look, put the PC. I'm trying to talk about what the hell's going on out there in fucking Russia. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I'm I'm tired, dude. Just leave me alone, all right? Everybody out there, just fucking leave me goddamn alone. I'm not even joking. Just leave me the fuck alone. I I, don't, I just don't even just don't even donate. Just don't just don't even just leave me alone. God damn it! Just leave me alone. Look, I'm going to try, all right? I'm going to try to keep going, all right? I'm going to try to keep going, but by God, man, if I if I continue to get besmirched like this, I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm not letting you fucking idiots ruin my baller Friday, all right? I'm not letting you all ruin my baller Friday. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, jeez. Ghost, is it beer time? I recommend Modelo. Anyway, keep on it, Capitalist. I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to fucking drink beer right now, man. I'm not letting these fucking trolls dictate when or when I don't drink beer. I'm not letting them do that. <sighs> Jesus Christ, man! Look at fucking Ouija Slayer. No, no, I've got your no, boy. I've got your no. It's fucking 98, 99 degrees outside. You fucking people are fucking getting me steamed under the collar. For Christ's sake, I'm sweating. I'm sweating, you people are pissing me off. I'm fucking sweating, man. Son of a bitch. What the hell is it? Mr. Madness quit ripping off Alex Jones. Alex Jones has been ripping me off for 15 fucking years. And this asshole kidding, he doesn't even have the fucking common courtesy to buy me a cup of coffee for heaven's sake, man. I'm not joking around. And by the way, let me tell you something. You want to fucking sit over here and you want to listen to Alex Jones? Is that what y'all want to listen to? You want to listen to some guy going, Hey, how you doing? It's Alex Jones here. And I want everybody to buy the super male vitality so you can get the big ass boner so it can protect you from the reptilian lizard women that are out there from the serious star god and my filters, my filters, my filters, my filters. Jesus fucking Christ. Ghost Obajima with an ass emoji. That's great. Jesus Christ, man. I'm sweating over here, man. I'm fucking sweating, man. Give me a smoke. Give me a smoke, man. I'd buy that for a dollar. No. Ford it. Ford it. It's a fucking racist. Goddamn Master Queef, man. I'm sorry. Let me just let me just calm down here for a second, folks. I'm sorry. I'm leaving a little bit of dead air here, man. I'm just, I'm just pissed, man. I'm just pissed. I'm giving you my fucking, my fucking heart, my soul, man. And all I get is just nonstop disrespect, man. I mean, do you understand? Do you understand the energy, the effort that it takes to do one of these fucking shows? For Christ's sake, what do you want, Proppy? You know me well, Ghost. You know I enjoy Shaw and. Uh Come on! Stop! God damn it, man! Just stop, man! Just stop! Just stop! Oh! Oh, God! Ugh. I'm tired, man. I'm sorry. I'm tired. I can't. I don't know if I can do this anymore, man. I'm just. I fucking don't know, man. I mean, come on, man. Look at these people in the chat. They don't care. Look at them. They're laughing, man. They're fucking laughing, for Christ's sake. God damn it. Give me the fucking shit. Damn it. Jesus Christ. Get shit out of here. Get out of here! Just shit out of here! All of you in the chat room, just shut the fuck up! All of you! Oh, oh God! Just fucking just skip it! Skip it! Skip that racist shit! Skip it! God damn it, man!
Jimmy Powell, I'm jaded. You're damn right. I'm depressed. God. Jesus, man. Just leave me alone in the chat, man. I'm going to make this fucking members only, man. Shut the fuck up, man. I'm not joking around, man. Shut the fuck up. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Shut Jesus. Up brother Caramel than Ica. Shut up, man. Robin Anger, man. Shut up. Punish Foxo. We care, ghost. We can clearly see you need a beer. Yeah, don't, don't do it, man. Don't be, don't be telling me to drink. Don't be fucking telling me to drink, man. Jesus fucking Christ. I, I can't believe you fucking assholes do this shit to me on a goddamn baller Friday, man. It's a goddamn baller Friday, man. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I got I got acid churning up in my stomach, man. You got me. Jesus Christ. Ah! I think I'm going to end this show, man. I'm, I'm not joking around. I just think I'm going to end this fucking show, man. I think I'm going to end this fucking show, man. Piece of shit. Put the PC shot on Kitsu. Don't worry, ghost. We're here for you. Let it all out full throttle. I'm tired. I'm just tired, man. I'm just tired. Look at Ghost Omajima with a fucking crying emoji and shit. He thinks it's a fucking joke. Where's my... Where's my positive reinforcement button, man? Let me my positive reinforcement button. I am a badass, man. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let these fucking trolls break me. Jesus Christ. And make love at two one six nine. Ghost, don't let these trolls get you, brother. They only hate you because uh, you're the bigger man. Stay strong and be the machine you know yourself to be. Thank you, McLovin two one six nine, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh Jesus. Let's cheer for ghost. Oh, shut up with that racist garbage, man! Shut up, man! Hey, bro, that man, come meet me and my girlfriend Evie at Menards so we can have some fecal Menards. Fun cocaine and seventy dollars or something. Pot wa dum 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 pot wa dum. Also, Nick Keith is a P3DZ knucklehead. Wa 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 wa. What the what the hell was that, man? And Ouija Slayer with a crying emoji. Fat G! Is that is that Salmon Andy? That better not be the real Salmon Andy, for Christ's sake. That better not be the real Salmon Andy! What is this, positive reinforcement button? You're a fat ass. Yeah, shut up. That better not be Salmon Andy! Let me tell you, if that's Salmon Andy... Let me tell you something. Take the PC shut off. Take it off! If that's Selman, Andy, you fucking fat homeless piece of trash, you're the reason why the terrorists hate us! You fat homeless piece of shit! Every time anybody feels sorry for your fat homeless fucking disgusting puff foot ass, all of a sudden you're like, Hey guys, this is a uh, fat G here, and you know guys, I, I really want a $500 backpack, and I really want like a $1,500 uh, a kind of bicycle, and I'm gonna... You're an idiot! Everybody gives you money so you can get your own place, you fat fuck! And what do you do? No, you know what, guys? I really feel like getting a, a camera so I can be like a fucking paparazzi, guys. You know that? And I don't want to get another, like, a thousand dollar camera lens. And you know, you're a fat, homeless piece of shit! And you're the reason why the terrorists hate us! Only in America do we have obese, homeless pieces of piles of human protoplasm like fucking Salmon Andy! And look at him, he's, he's, look at this fucking guy. Look at him, he's living out of his car, and he's donating fucking crying emojis to me. This fat fuck is fucking living out of his car, and he's fucking giving me goddamn fucking crying emojis. I mean, good God. I mean, good God, man. Look at him, he just did a $2 dono cope. Oh my God, this is a homeless fat fuck, you know that? This is a homeless fat fuck. Oh God, I can't stand it. I just can't stand this shit anymore. I mean, Christ save it. Ah, 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 fucking homeless 
bad fucking piece of shit. I can't believe this, man. I'm getting dissed on by some fat, homeless, fucking obese piece of shit. I'd buy that oh. for a dollar. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. I can't, man. I can't, man. We got fucking... Hold on, put the PC shot on. We got a helmet, boy. What's your opinion on a thousand-foot crutch, a good band, or two emo? And he said this is for the next Go Show. Well, thank you, fucking helmet, boy. I'm not in my fucking right frame of mind right now. I got a fucking homeless guy over here fucking dissing me. Are you fucking joking me? This is why the fucking terrorists hate us. This is why they hate us. <sighs> fucking homeless piece of shit fucking raises like $5,000 so he can get himself a new place. What does this fat fuck do? I'm going to go to a buffet and I'm going to go get myself a fucking steak and then I'm going to go get myself a fucking $5,000 fucking camera and then I'm going to go out there and get myself a $1,500 bike and then I'm going to get myself a $500 backpack because you never know. I might go out there that the shut up. All right, I'm done, dude. I'm sorry. I wanted to talk about I wanted to talk about all this stuff, dude. I wanted to talk about how fucking Russia all of a sudden now and Bell they want to go back to the talk uh peace talk talking booth again. They want to go back to the peace talking booth. That's great, isn't it? That's great. Jesus Christ. All right, I'm out of here, dude. All right. I'm done with this show. I can't I can't do this show anymore. I mean, I tried to do the ghost show for tomfoolery, and then I tried to do this show for a serious show, and what do I get? I get nothing but I get nothing but garbage from every one of you people in this audience. I can't take this anymore, man. I mean, I I, I did this show so that we can get to serious subject matters. So to serious subject matters. And all I do is get a bunch of troll terrorists and cyber vermin, man. Look, I think I'm gonna get myself some Twitch mods, and we're gonna we're gonna have to do I, I, we're gonna have to go like fucking martial law. We're gonna have to do something, man. All right, look at Ouija Slayer with a damn crying emoji. I just I can't I can't do this anymore, man. I'm gonna have a goddamn heart attack. All right. Oh I'd Jesus. Oh God. Shut up, Z Z Z Z Z oh, Z Z. God, Shut up, man. ghost. All right, dude. I mean, I've got so much. I got so much other. I got so much more to cover. I've got so much more news to cover, and yet, and hold on just a second. Look at this guy, Fat G. I make more money than you, and I'm homeless. I'd buy that for a dollar. I make more money than you, and I'm I'll keep homeless. Trolling you until you drop your character and stop faking the rage. Oh fuck Be you, real. man! And stop being an acting Andy. Yeah, go shove it up your ass. I, I you're mad because I almost dehomosexualized your ass. All right. And Fat G is saying I make more money than you, and I'm homeless. Oh my god, dude. Uh. You shouldn't even be donating to me there, Fat G uh, of Salmonet. You shouldn't even be donating to me, man. You should be going out there and trying to find yourself someplace to live. All right? I mean, give me a damn break. <sighs> Jesus Christ. We got Higmig said, boo-hoo, no one cares. You see, my fans, by the way, my fans over here. Kitsu said, we need the aliens, ghost, please. Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe the aliens can take over. I don't know. Slap people around or something. I have no idea. And Cooking and Investing Lover says, Fat G, does Fat G pay taxes on his donations? I probably, who knows? I don't know, but probably not in my opinion. But who the hell knows, all right? Anyway, I just can't believe that this guy's in my chat room. And aside from that, donating to my show, considering that he is a homeless fat piece of trash. He is homeless on the streets, and he's out here. Hey, guys, you know what? I need some more money so I can go out and get myself another $500 backpack over there and go to another buffet. I'd like to do a buffet stream. You want me to do a buffet stream, guys? $500 to do a buffet stream. Jesus Christ. All right, look. I was going to talk about a whole bunch of other stuff here. All right, the Russians, once again. Uh, oh, God. Mr. Nguyen. Boohoo evil American. We, the People's Republic of Vietnam, have won again. All Scoreboard. Right. All right, all right, all right, that's that's enough. All right.
I've had just about enough of all this crap, dude. Seriously. Hey, hold on. Put the PC shot on. Uh, somebody, Someone said, can you review the new McRib at McDonald's, please? Review the McRib. It's fake crap. It's fake garbage. You don't even know what the hell you're eating with that McRib. It ain't a rib. You know that, right? It's like fucking pork particles that have been put together and squished to make look like it's in a rib capacity, but it isn't. And they throw some, I don't know, some cockamamie b- barbecue sauce on it, and you idiots fucking pay a humongous stir charge, and it's crap. How do you like that for a review? And Mr. Madness with a damn crying emoji. All right, that's enough. Anyway, as I was stating, let's try to go back to the show here, all right? Russia and Belarus want to be on the peace table talks again, and I wonder why. Okay, Russia wants to go back because they know they're getting their clock cleaned, and Belarus wants to go because Russia is pressuring him to put nukes in their fucking country, and Belarus, you know, as much as they were talking tough... Now that they realize that, hey, look, they want us to put nukes, <laughs> my country can be a hour. target, all this other shit, all of a sudden they want to go back to the fucking, you know, debating table and say, hey, look, we want the PC, we want to do this, and we want to do that. And hold on, we got Ghost Train Specific Wife's Food. Speaking of fast food, look at what you did to our bro. Oh, Jesus. Hold on. Before I... Before I look at that, don't ask me to do these links again, dude. I I hate doing these. Wait a minute. Is this for real? Put the PC shot on. Please don't tell me this is real. Tell me this is a troll. That's, that's like, that's like, dude, no way. That's not real, dude. That, no, that's not real. I don't believe that. All right. I don't believe. There's no way. I don't believe that. I I, I absolutely do not believe that. I'm sorry. And what is it? Kirk Johnson. Take it off! God damn it, Kirk Johnson and all of you, man. We're just cooling off here. We were just cooling off. And you guys want to get me off keister all over again, man. Now, look, I I don't know if that's a real review bra picture. All right? Some guy, ghost transpacific waifu, wanted me to take a look at it. I don't know if that's for real. Okay? I don't know. And review bra, if you're watching, I don't, I'm not, you know, I don't know. Uh, if that, that's the way you're going, how brave is all I got to say. All right. We're on YouTube. So if that's the way you're going, how brave. And if it isn't, I'm sorry. All right. Jesus Christ. Anyway, as I was stating, Russia and Belarus want to go back to the peace table. You know what I mean? Anyway, somebody said, it, it, you know, it's uh, I don't know. I don't I don't want to know. All right? I really don't want to know. But anyway, while uh, you've got Belarus and Russia wanting to go back to the peace table, NATO is all of a sudden starting to, you know, pull off some. And every one of these fucking immigrants. Oh, I'd Jesus. What is this? I just bought more land in the metaverse. Now I'm getting paid cash with Atlas Earth. Buy virtual land all across the globe. The next wave oh, is digital. Jesus Catch Christ. me on the way up. The glow up is visible. Cop a couple more. Watch mine go up. It's about to go. All right. Anyway, thank you, GTR. All right. These immigrants on 90 Day Fiance will literally hold their nose and marry a disgusting, filthy fatty or some stupid 49-year-old broad with a mentally challenged kid, and they're in their peak 20s just to get in this country so they can go to work. All right. I'm not even joking around. And they're appreciative. All right, meanwhile, we've got American people out here who don't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of that believes that someone should give them something and that things are going to happen to them. You see, that's the difference between capitalists and everybody else. Everybody else thinks that things are going to happen to them when the capitalists go out and we make things happen. We go out and we make things happen. We're not out here waiting for things for us to happen to us. We're out there making things happen. And go, uh, what is this fucking urinator said, Ghost is Big Ed from 90 Day Fiance. No, I'm not. I'm just saying, 
You know, those fucking immigrants, you know, they're like, I want to come here. I just want a green card so I can work. America is the land of opportunity. And, uh, you know, I do anything. I fuck fatty. I, I take care of the retarded kid. I do it. I, I, and all that shit. And they're appreciative. Meanwhile, you got all these American-born folks that got college degrees and $60,000 in student college debt. And they're out here living on their mama's sofa because they're not the fucking president of IBM or some shit. Get the hell out of here. Anyway, once again, NATO air drill simulating attack on member. Uh, and this goes to show you that, uh, you know, the, the war machine is beginning to turn is all I got to say. Now, as I've told you, let's transition, no pun intended, to China a little bit. Now, even though China is kind of stepping on the nuts of Russia. Oh, Jesus, no. Please, no. Hey, ghost, it's me. Oh, God. I'm really happy that you've been keeping this show going and that you've been going up for so long. Jesus Christ. But honestly, I was wondering, can you end the show a little early? Like, can you stop it? Because I'm a little bothered with all the facts of the people who watch chooses um, kind of kind of pedophiles and stuff oh, and Jesus know, like, Christ man <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar everyone who watches you and that you support pedophilia you're you're an asshole you dude you can do what you want thank you you fucking hey Jesus Christ, I fucking hate that guy. Whoever that guy is, I hope he fucking burns in hell and gets raped by Satan's pitchfork for eternity. Fucking piece of shit. And we got propane, man. Are you getting Apple's new VR AR headset for 3500 bucks? Absolutely not. It's ridiculous. But are we, you know, surprised that Apple produced such a, you know, piece of shit? I'm, I'm sorry, I mean... The last thing that they ever did that was worth the crap, in my opinion, was the first iPhone, and that was it. And maybe the iPad, and that was about it. Everything else after that has been some low-grade piece of trash. And everybody goes and buys it. Now, they wonder why the hell is Samsung all of a sudden, uh, you know, taking leap in the uh, cell phone world. That's because they're actually uh, making products that appeal to demographics that pay for this shit. Sorry. Didn't mean to get off on that soliloquy. But anyway, Zamboni driver with the masturbating hippo and criminally autistic don't have a heart attack, boomer. I'm um, going to be all right. Don't worry about it. I eat a lot of lemons, uh, and uh, I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. And, you know, and plus, uh, never mind. Uh, Mr. Madness, Ghost wants to watch that what in the hell is why. Uh, wait a minute. 90 Day Fiance, I think, is uh, pretty decent content. What are you talking about? I think it's pretty decent content, for Christ's sake. And the reason I say that is because you get to see these immigrants, once they reach America, they can't believe that they're here. They can't believe that they're here. Kill Christy. No, Christy. no. Uh, skip this crap. Mad. Christy hates Christy. No, skip that crap. Look, don't, don't talk that way about Chris Christie, all right, you son of a bitch. Don't you even dare, all right? And uh, Zamboni Driver says, everybody spam hippos to appreciate ghosts. You don't have to spam a fucking hippo to appreciate ghosts, okay? Jesus Christ. And Kitsu on the Buy Me a Coffee says, Mexi Mexico should join NATO. We could teach the... I'm not saying that. Uh, all right. What North America can do. Uh, we are grateful for the Mexican-U.S.-Canadian alliance. I'd buy that for a dollar. A Zamboni driver with a masturbating hippo. Another masturbating hippo by Zamboni driver. And, of course, Baca survivor hooks it up with a damn masturbating hippo. Zamboni with another masturbating hippo. Zamboni with another masturbating hippo. Zamboni with another masturbating hippo. For Christ's sake, Zamboni. What the hell is up with you and masturbating hippos? Uh, we got Ralphie boy, Moise, Mo Moise. Jesus Christ. More spontaneous shows, please. I'm sorry. I'm getting tongue twat, 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 tweet, twat. Jesus Christ. It's too many masturbating hippos, for Christ's sake. Look at Ghost Omajima with a masturbating hippo. Z look at Zamboni Driver again with a masturbating hippo, for Christ's sake. 
All right, folks. I think I'm done. I, I have really a lot to talk about out here. But look at this. Another masturbating hippo by Reginald Masters 5295. Jimmy Powell with a goddamn masturbating hippo. Zamboni driver again with a masturbating hippo. Fucking Zamboni driver. We got back a survivor with a damn masturbating hippo. We got Kitsu with a waving masturbating hippo that says next time. And we've got Zamboni with another masturbating hippo. Ted Bell with a masturbating hippo. Ouija Slayer with a masturbating hippo. Jesus Christ. I, I don't even know. I, I, don't, I don't get it, man. I, I don't get it. All right, take a PC shot off. We got uh, Zamboni again and again and again and again with a masturbating hippo. All right, how long have I been on? Hey, engineer, how long have I been on here, man? <laughs> Two hours and 50 minutes. I, I think I better just, I better call it a baller Friday. I better just call it a baller Friday. Uh, we got cooking and investing lovers. Zamboni's room looks like a Jackson Pollock painting. Okay, that's... <laughs> and like a Zamboni driver with more masturbating hippos. Propane man with a masturbating hippo. <laughs> Christie is a joke. What are you Chris talking Christie about? Christie was an even bigger pro vaxxers than Trump. Expect Christie to give Fauci his old job in a congressional medal. Ah, uh, bullshit. Bullshit. Bull fucking shit. Anyway, we got propane man with a masturbating hippo. Zamboni again with a masturbating hippo. Monkey's uncle with a masturbating hippo. Kirk Johnson with a masturbating hippo. And Drunk Aussie said, did you say aliens? And look at fucking Fat G. Look at fucking Sam and Andy. A $3 fucking masturbating hippo. Dude, dude, Fat G, don't fucking donate to me anymore, dude. All right, seriously. You're a fucking homeless fat piece of shit. You need to fucking get a place to live, even if it's a fucking shitty crackhead motel or some shit. You need to get out of that shitter car. All right, you need to get yourself something. You need to fucking aspire to be better instead of a fucking fat, useless piece of pile of human protoplasm. And Zamboni driver goes, what's wrong with that? And Baca survivor with a uh, emoji of a fucking hippo with both his hands on his cheeks. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. And we got Jimmy Powell, get out on 6th Street tonight. Man, 6th Street has turned into a piece of shit, unfortunately, man. And I blame Obama for it, boy. I blame Obama for it. And Zamboni driver again with a damn masturbating hippo emoji. That for a dollar. And Horatio Nelson with, I guess, a text masturbating hippo emoji. And we got Jackler also doing the goddamn masturbating hippo emoji. Crossover maniac. With the goddamn masturbating hippo emoji. And again, and again, and again with Zamboni Driver with the damn masturbating hippo emoji. And another one, of course, by Zamboni Driver with the masturbating hippo fucking emoji. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Dak off, P. Now you're getting in on the masturbating hippo emoji circle jerk here. Dak off, P. And look, there's Punish Foxo there with the goddamn masturbating hippo emoji. We got Baca Survivor again with the masturbating hippo emoji. Good God, man. Man, you'll, you'll see why. You see, you see why I try him to do this show. I'm trying to spark synapses in the brains. And look at what I got to deal with here. Look at it. Fucking again, Zamboni Driver with the damn masturbating hippo. Jesus Christ, man. And we got Ralphie Boy with a $2 super chat, man. Thank you very much, man. All right. All right. I wanted to talk a little bit about how China, no, you know, from Russia to China transition, no pun intended, that even though they're stepping on Russia's nuts in many capacity, they are dependent on Russia. Take a look at this. China trade with Russia hits highest level since start of the Ukraine war. So even though you've got China undermining Russia by trying to go after the bum fuckistans and all that other shit, uh, you still have them buying a lot of oil from Russia, buying a lot of Russia's goods as well. So that's kind of the reason why China's trying to play this face value friendship with Russia, because they kind of need them. 
Because let's say China does invade Taiwan, they're certainly going to need, you know, fucking oil and energy from somewhere. So very interesting. G- uh, good guy Greg with the masturbating hippo emoji. And Zamboni driver says, what would you prefer, hippos or Ws? I'd prefer neither. Okay. And uh, Crossover Maniac said the hippo is wearing a flight suit uniform and giving the hand signal to a fighter plane pilot. The hippo is not doing what he th- you think he's doing. Why? Well, look, I don't know, okay? I don't know. To me, it looks like some, I don't know, fat hippo. Oh, Jesus. Uh, no, nah, not this guy again, man. Hey, guys. Oh, I my God. And Willie, you have a good bowel slide day. Come on. Uh, I hope you have a good bowel slide day and tell the engineer that I can't, I miss him and I can't wait to see him at the oh, next Weetad Con. What? <laughs> I love Weetad Con. It's so, it's so much funny. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, God. Oh, Come on. Uh, at the at the we talk we talk about how much we hate. No, d- shut up, you fucking! I freaking hate that guy, man. Stop, just stop. Everybody, stop, man. <sighs> Jesus Christ, man, stop. Everybody, stop, please. Jesus Christ, man, I'm I'm, I'm tired of this. And then you got Zamboni driver with another goddamn masturbating hippo fucking emoji. And then you got Wings of Ghost Sun with a damn masturbating hippo emoji, for Christ's sake. And uh, we got Zamboni Driver who said he's wrong. Recent article said he's rubbing one out. So that's what Zamboni says in response to the masturbating hippo emoji, all right? And we've got uh, Baca Survivor. The hippo is doing what you think he's doing, all right? All right, that, yeah, that's, that's enough. Jesus Christ. All right, I, I just, I, I'm tired, dude. I, I'm almost at three hours on this show, man. You guys have been giving me hell. I thought we were going to have a, a decent show going on. It's just it's just going to high hell at this point, and I'm just, I'm, I'm sick. All right, I, I, am, I am genuinely sick. Jesus Christ. Let me see if I can take another hit of the tobacco here. All right, Jesus Christ. And I still have that Mary Cone strain. That's the name of the strain of tobacco, Mary Cone. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, I, 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 I hook up with these tobacco strains from the Mexican kid that sells candy apples on the corner. And anybody who tries to say anything about that, all I have to say to you is, is that I am contributing to an impoverished member of society. What are you doing with your time? How about that? All right. How about that? Give me a smoke, all right? That's it. Got to hold it in, let it hit the brain. You know what I mean? Hold it in, let it hit the brain. That's it. Ah, there we go. All right, that's that's good. All right, that's good. All right. Now that China, we, we've already acknowledged that they're out there with, trading with Russia, you know, pretty connected at the hip. What have I told you about these EU pieces of trash? I'm telling you, we should be doing whatever we can to sabotage the EU. More tariffs, you know, we should fucking... The whole works. All right, fuck the EU, for Christ's sake. And holy shit! Zamboni driver with a $50 hippo emoji coming out of a treasure chest, punching the air like he was Rocky, hitting a slab of meat. I mean, come on, man. Zamboni making it rain on these trolls up in here, for heaven's sake, man. Zamboni, all right, making it rain on these trolls with a bunch of hippos. Good God. Anyway, cheers to Zamboni now, I guess. All right, man, I have to say that, man. Here, give me a smoke here. Here, this one's for Zamboni here, all right? Throw that ass in the octagon. Here it is. And Zamboni said that, nah, he's rubbing one out. I'd All buy right. that for a dollar. Jay Money. I want to apologize to Ghost for using my money on you and having you say that I am making it rain on these trolls. 
I really wish I got all my money back so I can spend it on these eight year olds I am. Oh no, just skip the that shit. Should be abolished. Skip that shit. That's not J money. You're lo enough, enough. All right, I've had just about enough of this. All right, this has gone on far enough, and I want it to stop. All right. I mean, I I don't need to continue to do this crap, man. I mean, I I mean, for fuck's sake, man. I'm just a guy trying to do a show here. And I would appreciate if you people would just allow me to do it instead of making it into some kind of a cyber circus sideshow. Jesus Christ, man. And look at this. Uh, thank you, Cornbread Man in the chat. I've been on for three hours and one minute. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hold dollar. on just a second. I got some... I got some... Uh, hold on. Uh, Mama Luigi said, I nominate the hippo for meme of the year 2023, hippo emote. And then uh, Mama Luigi said, uh, hippo emote, sorry, ghost, couldn't resist. I think at this point, it's probably going to go down as uh, meme of the year at this point, for heaven's sake. You know what I mean? for a dollar. Uh, hold on just a second. Hold on. Uh, this person has a horrible profile picture, uh, but it says, uh, I'm keeping an eye on you. Read my dono next time. Yeah, I already did. And, uh, yeah, th there you go, all right? Uh, that's a disgusting, despicable profile picture, and that's why I'm not showing it, all right? Anyway, what did I tell you about these Euro cucks, all right? They rather do deals with China than the people that saved their asses in World War II. Take a look at that. Take a look at that. Unfucking believable Unfucking believable I don't know. I don't know. Should I continue to do this show or what? Should I continue to do this show? Anyway... Uh, the Chinese, once again, crying wolf when it comes to flexing nuts. And uh, I think it's very serious that Blinken is going in there. And the reason I said, oh, God damn it, you fake Jay Money piece of crap. Hey, goes, I just wanted to make it wane of the trolls. Let's make it maul them. Let's make them maul them. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Wane on them. Last time I uh, donated, uh, my EBT's one and out. So I'm I'm running out of money, but last time I donated when I flushed the turlet, my uh, my poopies was black. Is that normal? Because oh, Jesus I don't know. Christ! Wait, one second here. <laughs> oh no! Jesus! Oh no! Jesus fucking Christ! Holy shit! Oh my God! No! A bunch of oh, Jesus Christ, this racist bastard, man. I do not condone what this idiot who continues to fucking donate says. I don't condone it, all right? I am not a racist. I am a melting pot of friendship, and everybody out there throughout the international community and throughout the internet knows this. Jesus Christ, man. Kitsu said, Hail, Ghostler, we shall march up to France at once. I don't know what the hell that means. Uh, cooking and investing lover, China 3 man-child mandated breeding program inbound. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, that's another factor, the whole little emperor syndrome. But, but anyway, as I was stating before I got rudely interrupted by the sick, demented asshole who's pretending to be Jay Money, okay, uh, Blinken is going to meet in Beijing with, I, I would say, Xi Jinping himself, or at least somebody over there. And what's up to Jag the Lux Ray? Hey, Ghost, I looked into the stickers, and the hippo ones are focused on love for gaming. To me, it looks like Popo, name of hippo, is reloading his gun in a first-person shooter game. I hope that helps. Really? You see, because now that whole masturbating hippo emoji has become a mystery all of a sudden there, Jag Lux Ray. And now you're suggesting that it's like reloading a gun for gaming. And I guess that the reason that there isn't a gun, because they don't want to promote guns per se, but much like Zamboni Driver says, it, he, it does look like the hippo is rubbing one out. I mean, I hate to say that, but it's really what it looks like. And it's sad. And you know, I, don't, I don't know what else the hell to say about it. Uh, but anyway, and uh, Wings of Ghost Sun, how much for RG? There's no money for RG. I, I, there's nothing, all right? I'm trying to get through the damn the, the news here. I'm trying to get through the news here, and I just can't, all right? So anyway, Be uh, Blinken going to Beijing next week. Uh, Jimmy Powell said, the condition in which you can't pronounce R in the words, it's called uh, raticism. 
which is incredibly difficult to say if you have that. Okay, great. Thank you, Jimmy Powell. I appreciate it. I mean, maybe I'm uh, Asian or something, you know? Maybe I can't say hello. I only know how to say hair. Uh, never mind. Uh, anyway, like I was saying, Saudi Crown Prince Blinken had candid talks. And if you want my opinion, I think uh, Blinken gave an ultimatum to the Saudi Crown Prince and said, hey, look, they're doing it because they're threatening Israel. And you see, this is where... <laughs> God damn it, Jay Money, for Christ's sake, man! Hey, Ghost, it's me. Um, I was just kind of wondering, because I've been listening to the show, as you know, because it, it's me, Jay Money, or Jamil, but y you haven't really been, you know, talking about nothing. Oh, so once, oh I need a sip of my bill. <laughs> it's, it's middle of time. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ugh, Jesus Christ! That was good. Anyway, I was wondering when you gonna talk about like the seaweed. Uh -huh. Would you uh, uh, talk about the seaweed? Sorry, <laughs> I had these stupid. Ah uh, no! All right, I'm done, dude. I'm done. I can't. I can't take this anymore, man. All right. I mean, you people are ruining my fucking baller Friday, and I'm fucking done with this shit, all right? Uh, Jag Deluxe Ray said, I'll ping you the link and pick in the uh, Thunderdome chat. Thank you very much there, Jag Lux Ray, all right? Anyway, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I don't need to be fucking putting up with this shit on a baller Friday. I refuse to allow you people to ruin any more of my baller Friday than I've already has already been ruined because of you fucking people, all right? I'm not, I'm not going to let you fucking do it, all right? I'm not letting you. I'm not gonna let you do it. I'm not letting you do it. Anyway, let me go ahead and give a shout out to all the members of the channel because I tell everybody at the end of every true capitalist radio show. Now, I had a special, and Ralphie Boy said, "Wait, what about the UFOs in Vegas recently?" Ah, Jesus Christ! Well, hold on, Ralphie Boy. All right, let me give the members of the channel some props first, okay? We got Felix Mativ, a basic member for two months. Cheers, man. Well, thank you very much. Now, look, I know a lot of people want me to talk a little bit about uh, this alien situation uh, in Nevada. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, no! Hey, Ghost, no. Oh, I don't want to end this show. No, I get it. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It would, we didn't mean to ruin your Bible Friday. We didn't mean to do that. I was joking. I know that you have been stressed about our tappers being kind of a pervert and all that. And okay, cool. Yes, I know you know. Oh, sorry, my my diaper. But I know you know that. Okay, cool. I like to watch videos of <laughs> men with penis because oh Jesus, they have big ones, bigger than me and yours because you show us in the in the circle. That's a bunch of but shit! It doesn't mean nothing. Okay, you fucking. Just get this guy out of here. All right, I'm fucking done. Look, I was going to talk about the whole fucking UFO shit and all that crap. That, that's it. I'm fucking done. I deserve more respect in this shit, man. Especially when I'm out here broadcasting on fucking Baller Friday. I, I expect. You know, I'm done with this shit, all right? I'm done with this shit. I, I refuse to have my Baller Friday ruined by you fucking pieces of fucking troll terrorist garbage, all right? I'm fucking done. All right, anyway, if you haven't done so, add to your bookmarks and add to your favorites. My official website, type this in your browser right now, ghost.report, okay? No matter what happens to me on any social media platform, you can always find me there. And by the way, if you want to join the Thunderdome and be a part of this damn troll drama that unfortunately gets seeped into many of these shows, hook it up with uh, 15 beers to be invited into the Thunderdome. We got a whole bunch of... It's been very active in there, to say the least, all right? It's been very active in there. And wait a minute, F P Punish Foxo says, I promised you aliens. <sighs> Jesus Christ. All right, here, here. This is the alien shit that everybody, everybody's talking about here. Put the PC shot on. 
Here, so, here it is. Put the PC shot on. This is the alien shit that everybody's talking about. The Nevada is a buzz tonight with stories about the crash of an unknown object and the alleged sighting of strange creatures in the backyard of a Northwest Valley home. There's a lot of different levels of authority that are inquiring about this. Dude just needs a green card. It's all good smile. Oh, Jesus Christ, Froppy. Just shut up. The dude needs a green card. Shut up. And uh, bring back the ghost show. Hey, uh, when is the ghost show? Please, no more bullshit. When are you showing up? I don't know, dude. Uh, I just keep keep on the look on ghost.report, okay? <laughs> ghost. Oh, no, 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 not this J Money asshole again, hey, man. Ghost. Will you quit the show? I hope you will quit the show because I was hoping you will go back into the inner circle and you will send us more pictures of, um, you know, more pictures of your big sweaty hog. No, you know, that's a lie. You're a sick bastard. I mean, well, it, it, I mean, it's okay. It's okay on the side, but I mean, it could be better. But, you know, I, I hope that it makes Mrs. Ghost happy. Probably not since I since she has the boyfriend, but you know I like it. I hope Fucking you send asshole. it to me and and um I hope that you end the show soon because I'm not enjoying it. God damn it! All right, don't donate to me anymore, dude. All right, I'm done with this fucking show. Propane, man, I've seen two green fireballs just like that twice coming from, uh, back from Las Vegas on I-15. Well, that's interesting, Propane, man. Cheers to you. And look, I I've had just about enough of this show. And Urinator said uh, they saw a duck ass. Is that what you said? Or a snake ass. Here, that's, that's what you said. Thank you, Urinator. I appreciate it. And we got Helmet Boy, so if you never do a ghost show, then do I get an IC invite then? Am I Because I'm already a don't? No, that's not... Dude, no. All right, just just calm down, all right? Jesus Christ. All right, let me play the rest of this, okay? So this is the alien story that everybody's talking about, all right? I'd buy that for a dollar. What is it, Froppy? Oh, Froppy just did 15 bucks for... Okay, I, I don't know. I guess that's for the Thunderdome or whatever. Thank you, Froppy. I appreciate it, man. Cheers to you, all right? And uh, what is this? Marshall Burnsy. The real question we need to answer is if the aliens were chicks and if they had big tits. I mean, what is this? An episode of Dude, Where's My Car? Come on, Marshall, for fuck's sake. Can we play this? Angel says they heard the patter of multiple feet in the yard. They later heard footsteps on their roof. Uh, so it's a, it's, it's a great time, man. So anyway, oh, Jesus, what is this? I'm stunned to see individuals who know the depth of DOJ corruption, who write about it, who tweet about it, give a shred of legitimacy to this indictment. That shows who you are at this point, Ghost. Oh, give me a break. You are completely at this point. Oh, give me a break, angry conservative. I'm telling the truth, okay? You are infatuated with a cult of personality. I am somebody who is bounded by my ideas. All right? Because that's what I want. I want Republicans that are legitimately going to be electable and to assert ideas that I believe in as actual policy. All right? I'm not infatuated with some person out here. Jesus Christ, you freaking people. I'd buy that for a dollar. Hey, look, here's Froppy. I'll contact Hard Hammond about my invite. Peace. All right. Thank you very much. All right? And uh, Umbrajolt said, get out of here already. Hey, look at you with that stupid fucking Woody Allen butt-loving pedophile anime pic as your profile, you fucking moron. I'm not going to listen to some idiot with an enemy in their profile picture trying to tell me what to do. I'll get out of here when I'm good and ready, you dumb scumbag. Jesus Christ, man. The audacity of these fucking people. Can you believe this shit? The fucking audacity. Jesus Christ. You see, now I'm going to wait a minute because this piece of shit told me that I'll go ahead and get out of here. Go ahead and get out of here. I'll, I'll get out of here when I start, when I fucking good and well please, all right? Son of a bitch. Fucking trying to sit over here and talk shit to me for Christ's sake, man. I mean, I'm giving you all my blood, sweat, and tears for Christ's sake, man. And none of you. I'd buy that for a Hold on, dollar. what is this? For realist, totally fuck hot alien chicks. 
We need that goddamn footage man in black will smith motherfuckers. L look at Marshall Burnsy thinking that there's going to be some alien chicks with three breasts or something and two vaginas, you know, that'll come down and give him, you know, lovey long time and shit. I mean, this is not dude, where's my car, right? Jesus Christ, man. <sighs> and somebody said, go take a nap, ghost. Dude, listen to me, all right? I'm a little older, okay? I get that shit, all right? But I still got fucking energy, all right? All right, every time that you fucking hear a ghost show or a true capitalist radio show, it's fucking high energy, man. You understand that? You can feel the energy, for Christ's sake. Give me a fucking smoke. Somebody said take a dirt nap. Yeah, my fans, by the way. Here, give me a smoke. <laughs> I'd buy that for a oh, dollar. Jesus Christ, man. Fucking this idiot, dude. This fucking idiot J Money, man. It's a fake J Money. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Hold on, is he? Is it gonna say anything? Hey, Ghost, oh, I know Jesus you just Christ. ended this so soon, but I want you to make sure before you end that you know that me and our tappers, we wanna make sure we stay inside. We we wanna be inside the Thunder Dome because look. Realistically, we know that you send your fucking dick pics inside the funding dome. And uh, dude, okay, shut the fuck care. up. That's a but fucking lie. That, we want to send those funny memes. Those funny memes where we where we have with the. All right, that's enough, dude. All right, that's enough. Put the PC shot on Gino. How do you feel about white women wanting to be banged by horses? Dude, I don't fucking know. You're obviously thinking about it, you fucking weirdo, all right? Look, I'm done. I'm out of here, all right? I've had enough of this crap. You people have damn well ruined my baller Friday, for Christ's sake. I'm going to go to the Thunderdome, have some beers, and you know I'll be in the Thunderdome here in about an hour and a half, two hours. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Mick Lovin, though, just hooked it up with a super chat and said, uh, Thanks for the show today, Ghost. Rather listen to your show than any other boring shows out there as, seri as the serious moments and the trolls are hella entertaining. They're not entertaining, dude. They're pieces of crap, dude. They, they are ruining my credibility in the uh, political talking class. You know that? These people are ruining my credibility. I mean, I should be taken as serious as like Rush Limbaugh in this day and age, and I'm being completely overlooked because these pieces of crap have just, you know, completely degraded my actual image, my brand. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm going to go fucking drink in my dis disgust and my disgrace, all right? And you people have, you know, fucked up my show. I'm out of here! <laughs>